So hello to anyone out there again tuning in and yes indeed we have another cobalt. Uh, this is the third one. Third one's the charm, right? Is that how a saying goes? We shall see. But uh, this is either third one's the charm or strike three and the Cobalts are out. Uh, 2007 uh, Chevy Cobalt. See the front plastic a little bent up here. It looks like they hit a deer or something. A little bit of a foot damage there. Crack to the light. Uh, these are the wheels off of my Cobalt. I ran earlier in the spring as the sun is out bright here. Just got it in our yard. Rolled it off the trailer. Uh, runs well enough. Again, you can see the sticker on there, 723. It just ended. Uh, rather, the uh, road wariness or worthiness, I should say. A uh, little bit of, quite a bit of rust underneath there, which is where you typically see it. A little bit of damage here. You can see they putted it. But again, uh, seems pretty solid. The wheels up front, by far the cleanest of the three we've had. So this is just a brief first look. Uh, early this spring was May. We ran a cobalt as well same exact setup again it's got the battery stock in the back which is just bizarre so we'll rip out the seats in the interior and then i'll just unhook that uh, kind of different mounts for the wire and run it right up to where i typically have it kind of makes it nice and easy don't have to change the wiring or anything otherwise again just rebar or plastic uh rear bumper front bumper off all that stuff the windows might even get to today because there's some rain coming it's going to be a quicker build nothing in detail to show other than here she is uh wanted to get one more car to derby before we're kind of winding down the summer here uh big derby in uh, crawford county western pennsylvania near where i'm at uh, right before the school year starts and then we might have one more in the fall but this one came across again it's got the ecotech in it uh, simple but a good running motor for these little cars so we'll see what we have again just a brief first look everything's going to in essence be exactly the same as i had it with the cobalt early this may and again i would say the setup was good we just had a clutch and a five speed that had 167,000 miles in it and it had no life left and it burned up and then i was sitting there with a car that was running but would not move in any gears and the wheels were weak guys hit me didn't even hit me hard uh the first one at least and they busted and we were completely out so hoping for a better run with this one again 2007 chevy cobalt just a brief first look and then we'll have the final build to follow and we'll see how she does the cat approves so here is our finished product with the uh, simple batman paint design but we love just throwing something on the cars so that there's something that kind of looks neat, interesting, or for the younger kids to say it's cool. At least that's our mindset. So pretty simple stock build again, straight stock referring to, I mean, we just strip it down, no extra anything. We are running the stock tank, which to show you inside, there is our uh, power going to our stock fuel cell, which the tank is right under there is where it's plugging in, tank sitting right there. So decent amount of back end to uh, roll up to it. And again, that kind of right there, right above that plug is kind of my my uh, point of no return. Like I need to start turning around and smash with the front end if I'm to that point. Uh, fuel lines are pretty clean up until about right behind the driver's seat. And then they get pretty rusted. The back part of this car is pretty rusted. It just came off the road last month but it uh it is rusted underneath bad in the back especially around the fuel lines i actually sprayed a little spray foam underneath around the fuel lines between the the car and the fuel lines so that as it's kind of bending and folding hopefully it doesn't press on that but i mean just kind of is what it is we'll go until we we can't go anymore so let's put it simply but otherwise again just tape up the wires i again leave the grounds there there was nowhere else i could ground and i just don't like running the stock fuel cell and stock tank undoing all the ground so i left that there again got the smith metalworks battery box just two up front one in the back she is stiff won't move and then i'll put my again seat cushions around it with my bar over top so she's secure uh, but otherwise inside again like that for kind of a grab bar and also helps keep the seat up as you're getting banged around but roof sign again uh, bat theme so the the idea was the front half we have the bat symbol with the batman on each side very simple and in the back kind of in the uh, most recent the batman movie um 
no more lies riddle me this so talking about the riddler you know the question mark as well as see you in instead of hell you know it is a family event we put see you in dot 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 arkham which according to the joke or the riddle i guess told in the movie uh see you in hell was referring to arkham so we kind of jumped ahead to that so simple again but uh third cobalt we've run the other two were rusted bad and the transmission burnt up on the one the first one my wife actually ran she got pressed into she had a nice little run gone pressed into a little bit in the wheel and it ripped the whole frame out this one up front is as clean as most if not all the derby cars i've had a little bit of surface rust a little bit more rust up here but i mean where she needs it it is as clean as can be runs well enough so it's up to the driver to keep those front wheels clean and go from there put the spares on the back because the pit we're hoping to go to and i say hoping because venango is the plan but there is some severe weather moving in uh even possible tornadoes in western pa which is something we don't see a lot of so kind of keep an eye on that just show the trunk again the only thing i do is press up get the jack under and just kind of work around hit a little bit of the sledge to prop up a little bit just kind of helps fold it up and in different guys have told me that apologize for my allergies again all the pollen in the air but uh does help i think so but the uh spare tires not only leaves more room around it because we want to keep that back into the pit the whole time but also uh there it's kind of like a clumpy mud so the spare tires helps to where the front tires are spinning just stock tires we'll be able to keep moving and then just to show and again there's our simple bat symbol i made the square so it's consistent cutting out like that uh, just took the spray foam around so this one has kind of the simple the battery or excuse me the uh, radiator doesn't sit in kind of the the core it's kind of like my g6 the cobalt is it has these little mounts so i bent them down a little bit the mount so that it's a little bit tighter on the radiator and then i sprayed foamed on the top as well as i had some extra just sprayed in between the radiator and the transmission uh, radiator there i'm not sure exactly what that's called but as well as along the side of the radiator to try to kind of make it a little bit more it can move here and there and a little bit more actual stable too i mean of course if anybody's smashed my front end it's not going to do anything took the stock fan out so you can see actually a decent amount of space up until it's getting to this here as well as this and it's pressing the starters just a little bit under there but i mean if we're getting to that point we're at the end of the derby and it was a good run and we'll see where we ended up spray foamed again around all the wiring pulled inside here tied it up i actually have it running down inside uh below the frame rail there onto the bar and then i just taped it and then i spray foamed all around it so again there's no wires that could be kind of you can see here you can't even see except for the bottom of it but it's way inside there again if they're getting to that then th it was a good run honey and <laughs> we'll go at it next time so simple but again uh, just take off my snorkels i call it there for the air filter put on my chicken wire tape it up pretty simple overall other than that just again the simple holes up here i'll actually they require going from that using my uh again my 399 seat belts to the not to the front bumper the rebar there but to the core support so i'll go from that to the core support this guy i'll go around the frame rail to make her as solid as possible so she's ready to go we'll put the gopro on the back uh get some good footage hopefully we're toward the pit Hoping for a good run. I won't lie, we have a little bit of actual uh, expectations for this car as it runs well enough. It's pretty clean up front and she's fresh where I'd say over half the cars the derby we're gone to are probably from last weekend we'll likely see. So here goes nothing. Cobalt round three, as I said, this is strike three and she's out or we'll continue to keep her in the possible derby rotation if we find one. Hoping for a good run.